Four-year-old parents are navigating some deep, uncharted emotional waters after a young man decided to leave a band. Perhaps you know about this already. Zane quit One Direction. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of facts out there about how do parents cope with what seems to be completely over-the-top, irrational response to this small little change in the lineup. Now, courtesy of uh, Miller, they're saying that you need to encourage your teens to have a good cry. It's okay. Encourage them to self-talk themselves through this. He hasn't died, so what might happen to Zayn next? Think about what he's going to do with his solo career. He'll probably have another album. Get them thinking in a more positive frame of mind and get them moving. Sitting in their room on the computer watching other kids cut themselves. Yes, it's mm. true. Some kids have done this. There are reports of that. Talking about the end of the world, it's not helpful. You know, you have to try to remember where you were back when you were a young teenager and it just didn't seem like you could get a handle sure. on it. You've got to, as a parent, not tell them, oh, you're being ridiculous. You've got to really try to help them spin yeah. it and make it go positive. And that's something that I did because I asked my niece, you know, what was she thinking and how about she? this? Uh, she is 14, turning 15 this weekend. But, mm -hmm. you know, and I bought her One Direction tickets several years ago for, oh, for uh, Christmas. And I know she's going again uh, this year. But I said, can you sum it up in one word? And basically she couldn't because... Obviously, she's very stressed about this, but disbelief was the one word that she, she zeroed in on. And I can see that because if you look back to when the Beatles kind of disbanded back in the late 60s, mm -hmm. a lot of people will turn to that time oh, and they yeah. think John Lennon. When John Lennon, you know, he kind of just went away from the band. And then it was Paul McCartney officially quitting. You know, this people is that devastated. serious of a time for those teenagers. And, right. And uh, One Direction, they're going to go on. Like I told my niece and I said, um, Zane will most likely get back to music when he's ready. Right. And that's that's the right thing. When he's ready to do it, he'll get back, you know? Exactly, exactly. And I um, was talking to my niece today, too. I had texted her, and she said, I don't really listen. She's 13. Yeah. She's like, I don't really listen to One Direction that much anymore. But when I heard about it, I was in shock. But I read about it, and I understand why he did it. Yeah. Katie's very mature. Yeah. It was pretty good. <laughs> and our investigative reporter, Brian Paulson, uh, his 13-year-old niece, Regan, I mean, excuse me, Reagan, she has her whole room decked out. Check this out. Wow. All decked out, except for a few five seconds of summer. It's another band that might be interspersed in all of these posters. It's a lot of tape. But her parents said that she has nonstop tears for the whole day yesterday. Sure. So I, I know I posted this on my Facebook page, and I had a lot of people saying this is ridiculous. Just tell them to get over it. But you really have to try to think about where they are mentally and emotionally and maturity levels and then handle this appropriately. And that's, you know, that's a time of transition for a lot of young females, too. Right. So right. get a and grasp on it, right? Yeah, and spin them positive. Mm -hmm. I like that. Tell them it's going to be okay. It'll be okay. And, and my niece responded with, true, true, it will be okay. So, yeah, she Good gets job, it already. Yeah. Uncle Brian. That's right. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> well, if you're a better.